This newscast is brought to you by Lavo. Lavo has announced the availability of the Lavo Virtual Sound Card (VSC) for macOS 14 Sonoma and later. This versatile virtual audio device enables seamless integration of Apple desktops and laptops into Ravenna AES67 audio over IP networks. Whether for AOIP networks or studio applications, users can choose between a free and a licensed version of Lavo VSC with enhanced features. Running as a background service, Lavo VSC converts local audio into Ravenna AES67 streams, fully compliant with open audio over IP standards. The licensed VSC version offers support for up to 128 audio devices, 128 senders and receivers, and sampling rates up to 96 kHz. It also includes features like PTP synchronization for precise timing, multicast and unicast streaming, and adherence to SMPT ST2110 and ST2022-7 standards for redundancy. The free version is now available for download, offering basic functionality with one virtual audio device and two channels. At AES Show 2024 in New York, Austrian Audio has introduced the latest addition to the brand's family of professional, closed-back headphones, the Hi-X20. Designed based on customer feedback and using the same proprietary Hi-X drivers that power all Austrian Audio professional headphones, the Hi-X20 is said to offer high-precision sound that is perfectly balanced in middle and high frequencies, with a powerful but not overdrawn bass response. The company touts the new Hi X20 as a fresh take on the brand's sonic signature, presenting pristine sound, honest frequency response, fast transients, and minimal distortion in the bass range. Vantiva, a technology player enabling network service providers to connect consumers worldwide, has announced the appointment of Tim O'Loughlin as CEO. His appointment and co-option as a director were formally approved during Vantiva's board of directors meeting on October 8th. He succeeds Lars Island, who has served as interim CEO since August 15, 2024. With over 20 years of corporate leadership experience, O'Loughlin brings significant expertise in strategic hardware and enterprise software technology markets. Most notably, he spent 18 years in senior leadership roles with two companies recently acquired by Vantiva, Eris and Pace. Since January 2, he has served as Senior Vice President of the America's Customer Unit for Vantiva. Broadcasting Center Europe BCE, completed its role as the official host broadcaster for the recently concluded Skoda Tour de Luxembourg 2024. This year's edition of the UCI Pro Series race unfolded over five exhilarating stages, offering a global audience the chance to experience the beauty of Luxembourg's landscapes and the thrilling competition of world-class cyclists. BCE's expertise ensured that every moment was broadcast seamlessly across multiple platforms, including Eurosport and RTL Letzeberg. Across all five stages of the race, BCE overcame obstacles and limitations by deploying cutting-edge solutions for camera connections, advanced production, signal transmission, and more. For HF motorbikes captured live footage from within the peloton, and a helicopter provided stunning aerial shots of both the cyclists and the picturesque Luxembourg countryside. In collaboration with NEP, the feats were transmitted via HF to a circling airplane, which acted as a relay station, sending the signals down to ground antennas before transferring them to OB vans. This ensured uninterrupted live transmission throughout each stage. The Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, SMPT, has named Sally Ann D'Amato as its interim executive director, effective immediately. D'Amato, currently director of events and governance liaison, has been with the Engineering Society and International Standards Setting Body for the past 23 years, involved in almost every aspect of its operations and governance. SMPT President Raynard Jenkins said D'Amato has developed a deep understanding of the Society's operations and mission of driving advancements in motion imaging and media technology and will play a key role in ensuring continuity in its initiatives during a time of transition. D'Amato succeeds David Grindle, who announced in September that he was stepping away as the group's executive director on October 18. At Consumer Electronics Show 2025, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang will deliver a keynote on January 6, just a day before the Consumer Electronics Show will open its doors in Las Vegas. A source familiar with NVIDIA's plans revealed that more details about the RTX 50 series might be shared at the Consumer Electronics Show in early 2025. NVIDIA is an official guest keynote of the Consumer Technology Association for this upcoming CES show after the company previously delivered its own special address stream at CES 2024 earlier this year. 
While Huang will undoubtedly focus on the AI hardware and software that has propelled the company to a $3 trillion valuation, he may well discuss the company's upcoming desktop GPUs based on the Blackwell architecture. This newscast is brought to you by Lavo.